Hi, I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and today I'm going to do something that I haven't done in quite some time and that's clean out my linen closet in my bathroom. So other than a red hot mess, we've got a lot of things going on up here. We've got spare mats and spare shower curtains, toilet paper, um, dehumidifiers, um, towels and <laughs> hand towels, products. We've got pillowcases. We've only got two size beds in here, king, single and queen, so I keep them separated like that. And then we've got a whole heap of stuff down here. I haven't cleaned out this cupboard in literally years, but when I did do it last time, I followed the Marie Kondo method of um, putting things into their own separate containers. And actually it makes it really easy for when you do um, do a big clean out because most of the stuff is already in their own little containers bar all this little stuff, which I'll just gather together in a big box. But the other thing I liked about the Marie Kondo method is storing the towels like this. And then that way, if someone wants that particular towel, they can come along and just take that towel without it disturbing the whole rest of the pile. So that's been something that's been really useful in our house. But anyway, I'll shove that back in there and we'll get on to it. It's a perfect day for doing this job today. The sun's shining on the back deck, so I can put these boxes and towels and bits and pieces out on the back deck for a little bit of sun, and then I can refold things nicely before I put them back. So that's the plan, let's do it. Now, like normal, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down, get everything out of here, get the things out on the deck. I'm going to go through everything later when I go to put things back in because there'll be things in here that don't I don't need anymore. So I'll speed this up for you if you like. Be mindful of your safety at this part. Do things strategically and carefully and safely. So that literally only took a couple of minutes to get all that stuff out. Um, and as I said, having things already in their little um, containers makes that job a whole lot easier as opposed to just having things stacked up on top of one another. Um, now I've just got the last couple of things in here. You can probably see how dirty it is and I'll show you a bit closer a little bit later. Um, but as you can see, I've got these um, moisture things here that, um, of course, this uh, linen cupboard is in our bathroom. So we have to be careful to ensure that the door is shut properly when we have our showers and things like that. But I always have a couple of these in there as well. And you can really see, thank goodness I have, because they have actually um, absorbed a lot of moisture out of that cupboard. Nothing smells bad or musty or mildewy in here at all. So it's done a really good job of keeping everything nice and dry. Um, this one here is a reusable one, so I'll just tip that water out, wash it, and then when I get the... Um, the bag of stuff from Bunnings or somewhere I can um, fill that up again. This one here is a disposable one, but I've reused those ones as well. You just got to peel the top part off and then tip the water out and refill them. But I do already have some new ones to go in here. So I did think ahead with that, thank goodness. So I'll keep going and get the rest of the stuff out. Then I'll get the vacuum cleaner, give up, get rid of the main part of the dust and then I'll wipe everything out. Crikey, I probably haven't even looked at some of this stuff down here in years, so it's a good reminder. As you can see, got everything out pretty quickly. Several years of dust in there. A little bit of rubbish. And then it's all good to just vacuum clean. So that part of the job really didn't take long at all. It seriously took me all of less, let's, let's call it somewhere between five and 10 minutes to take everything out of the cupboard. And I still have a bit of an injured foot. So, um, so yeah, 
I'm not winning any races. So I've got things stored in the bath. Things stored on our bed. And things stored out here on the deck, getting a bit of sunlight. So clearly I need to refold some things, particularly in the King single sheet box. Um, and go through things, see exactly what I do need and what I can donate or what I really should be using as rags. That's that noisy crow in the background. Um, we, as you know in my videos you always get a lot of beautiful birds um, and that's one of them. By getting as much as possible with the vacuum cleaner means that it's going to make the wiping process a lot quicker because you won't need to be rinsing out your cloth so many times. And vacuum cleaners are really good at dusting. It saves a lot of time. So when it comes down to the wiping stage, I've got one of um, that Valida Bath Magic that um, I used in one of my recent videos. And it's actually quite good for reaching things because you can just attach a cloth to the top of it and then that's going to help me reach these areas that I otherwise wouldn't. I'm just using this, um, the Cito's uh, multi-purpose spray. As you know, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but I'm just using this because I like the eucalyptus. Um, and oftentimes I even make my own version of this just with Castile soap, water, and a few drops of um, eucalyptus oil works actually just as well. I just bought this because it was on special. But I'm going to give that a good spray. And then I can use this to... I'm just going to get my rhythm with it. I'll just give the, everything a quick wipe over first to get the worst part of the dirt off. Then I'll rinse my cloth and then I'll wipe over again. So that's coming off really well. And the eucalyptus smells great. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a rinse out in hot water. Put it back on again. And I'll show you how to get the walls. This time I'm going to just put a little bit of spray on that. See how good that is? I mean, as I said, I had no moisture issues in here, no mold, no mildew, no mustiness. But I still wanna give things a real good freshen up. I actually painted all in here when we first moved in. I also painted the bathroom and, and most of the house, in fact. But, um, but and, and because I painted everything, I wanna make sure that everything stays looking clean and that the paint stays in the best possible, um, shape as a, you know because of course the paint's there to protect the wood so you want that to stay looking good and clean we don't want the paint degrading because it is there to protect the wood from getting moisture in it
So I'll keep cleaning and then I'll take you outside and we'll do a bit of refolding and some sorting before putting going through things and putting things back in. As I said, I'm not moving too fast at the moment because of my foot, but um, between getting everything out of the cupboard and actually cleaning it, just about half an hour. It really hasn't taken that long at all. So this is the perfect kind of day to do this kind of job. It's very dry. I'm going to start with this and I'm going to take it from this to this. We'll see how long that's going to last. If only it was that simple, hey. We're now at the part of the job where a bit of perseverance goes a long way. In this part, I got to really discover that everything in those containers had stored really well. Nothing was damp smelling. Um, everything was still in really good condition. Um, and I had actually kept a, a bar of soap in each of those containers to potentially absorb any moisture that may be in there. Going through all these things was actually really good. I didn't need to throw out too many things, but I did discover some things that I'd completely forgotten about that I can now use for different purposes. So it was really timely. Well, the sun has definitely lost its sparkle. I have cleared all the stuff off the deck, as you can see. Um, but the bedroom is kind of a different story. There is still some stuff over there on the bed that I do need to still sort out. And I will get to that ASAP before tonight, of course, because we're going to want to sleep in there. Now, my husband does want to have a shower and I'm just trying to clear things out of the actual bathtub and get the main things done so that he can do that. Um, and I will just go through all those products on the bed. Um, because I want to do it properly. Anyway, we're getting there. I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. Come in here and I'll just show I'll just show you what it's looking like so far. And as some of you might remember, I do live in a household with six adult males. And so um, there's always going to be a lot of stuff needed. Um, and I've just got to try and keep things as accessible, well labeled and sorted as possible so that we avoid any ongoing messes. And the system that we've had going in this cupboard has actually served us pretty well. Years ago, I watched those Marie Kondo series that's on Netflix. And I also read her book and I really liked the way that she had of sorting things. One of the other things I really liked that she did was that she recommended using things like special things that you don't want to part with um, to use underneath um, your storage. So this here is a, bl a baby's blanket. This is a baby's blanket that I made for my children um, when my first son was born. I've got four sons and it's really special to me. So it's really nice for me to see that there. It's still being used. It's just being used as a sort of a base kind of thing. Um, and um, in this case, I've got my spare um, pillow protectors up there because they don't fit in our one down, down here. So this is the end result. Everything's back in. As I said, I was quite surprised I didn't end up getting rid of too much stuff at all. But everything is neatly back into place and sort of sectioned off a little bit better. I made a lot better use of this space down below. Uh, yes, I do have a lot of cleaning products down there. Because um, remember, I did have a cleaning business for quite a few years. So I have quite a few bits and pieces to use up. Um, otherwise, my preference is to just use natural homemade cleaning products where I possibly can. Um, and you can see I've made much better use of that space by adding in a few extra containers down there to store things like curtains and things, um, those large towels and bits and pieces that I don't use very often. And kept all of my travel stuff in that blue bag there. So I've got easy access to everything that I might need. So glad to have that one ticked off and job well done. I'm really happy with how it's turned out and everything looks fantastic. We have order once more. 
So I'll move on and find something else to clean in this, this great house. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Happy cleaning everyone.